So that's the cricket rounded up. Let's get the rest of the sports news now from Yayan Ivett. In tennis, Andy Murray is expected to side in the next few days if he'll play in the doubles at Queen's Club later this month. The entry list for the London Grass Court event closes late this afternoon, and Murray is said to be increasingly upbeat about his recovery from hip surgery. On Saturday, he posted a short video of himself serving on a grass court on his Instagram account. And in the Roland Garros Cup, top seed Novak Djokovic beat world number 45 Jan Leonard Struff in straight sets to advance to the quarterfinals. Netball, and England have announced that head coach Tracy Neville will step down after next month's World Cup in Liverpool. Under her leadership, England won gold at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Neville says she wants to start a family. The former Wasps head coach, Tasmin Greenway, is one of the favourites for the job and has expressed her interest in the position. However, the timing isn't great as she is currently pregnant. It's the dream job. Of course, it's the dream job when you get into coaching. Um, I've done what I sort of set out to do at Super League and, and won titles and I, I've loved it. And of course, if that job was offered, it'd be very difficult to turn down. It's probably not the perfect timing for me at the moment either, but I never say never. In boxing, the new unified WBA, WBO, IBO and IBF heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz Jr. has said that he would love a rematch with Anthony Joshua in his home country of Mexico. Ruiz admitted he is still pinching himself after his shock victory over Joshua at Madison Square Garden. The fight ended with a seventh round stoppage to make Ruiz the first ever Mexican heavyweight champion. Football now, and BBC Radio Derby has been told press speculation surrounding Brighton's interest in Derby County defender Jaden Bogle is unfounded. Reports this morning suggested the Seagulls are about to table a £10 million bid plus a player. And UEFA have announced that VAR will be in use for the upcoming Nations League matches. It will be the first time that the technology has been used in a national team competition run by the European football's governing body. The Nation League starts on Wednesday when host Portugal play Switzerland. England face the Netherlands in the other semi-final on Thursday evening. Liverpool are keen to offer Jurgen Klopp an extended contract following their Champions League triumph. The 51-year-old, whose current deal runs until 2022, watched his side defeat Spurs 2-0 in the Champions League final. They were welcomed back to Merseyside by approximately 750,000 fans for their trophy parade through Liverpool City Centre. And Liverpool legend John Barnes has told the BBC he doesn't believe his former club needs to spend heavily this summer to strengthen their squad. Instead, Barnes says the current players need to keep the same intensity, spirit and determination they showed to win the Champions League this season. If you look at our midfield, for example, and people are talking about the fact that we may lack creativity. In lacking creativity, we have won the Champions League and finished second in the league with the second most amount of points in history. <laughs> so, so when you're talking about where do we need to improve, we've got two new players coming in, in terms of Oxlade Chamberlain and Joe Gomez who are injured. So I don't think we need to buy anybody else. What we need to do is we have to keep the same intensity and determination and spirit and togetherness. That's all we need. Ex-Manchester United manager Louis van Gaal claims the club chief executive Ed Woodward has zero understanding of football and the club is suffering as a result. Talking to German magazine 11 Freunde, van Gaal has said employing someone as CEO who was previously an investment banker has led to the club being run solely from a commercially driven perspective. And now it's time to rejoin Dave Fletcher as Derbyshire continue their day one test against Durham. Derbyshire Cricket with Dave Fletcher on BBC Radio Derby. Thank you, Yayan. Yayan uh, Ivert with the uh, sports news there on BBC Radio Derby, 